Okay, I want to do a video here. It's about ready to get dark here in Hamburg. Uh, I, I saw something today on uh, Norway. They're coming out with a uh, wealth tax. And well, actually, they've, they've come out with it. And what's happening is uh, a lot of the Norwegians, the wealthy ones, real wealthy ones, <clears throat> they're moving to Switzerland. And they're paying, they're opting to pay this lump sum deal they've got in Switzerland. Where you pay a lump sum, and then you don't have to pay any income taxes after that lump sum. And you've got a choice. You can go also uh, to different cantons and pay a tax rate based on that canton. And usually the, the more remote cantons, the, 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 the tax is less. But I've wondered, you know, in, in uh, Italy's got a deal right now where you pay like a uh, lump sum also and you can uh, and keep your tax base at a certain amount. And a lot of these countries have figures that run around 100,000 thereabouts. And uh, I wonder, why don't you just get your taxes to zero? <laughs> why do they? I, I think some of these people have been used to paying just maybe a third or half their money in income taxes and then they look at uh you know a uh, hundred thousand two hundred thousand three hundred thousand is, is a good settlement compared to what they were paying why not just move to a place where you can get your taxes to zero and you can you can get actually in a lot of cases better benefits than you might get in switzerland if you don't like cold weather switzerland's freezing cold and other things too, you got a language barrier issue unless you can speak German there. And why not just go to a place like Central America, places like Ecuador? Now, the culture will be slower. Uh, the culture w will be more like in Switzerland, probably what Netherlands is, where you go to Central America, you're going to get this, uh, it's more of a laid back you know, attitude. And the weather is going to be different. Of course, if you like warmer weather, why do you go to Italy? Why do you go to Switzerland to begin with? My whole thing is I've always looked at getting your taxes to zero. To, to me, it doesn't make sense. It's almost it's almost fun to do it. You know, it's, it's uh, but to go in and just settle and pay this huge lump sum in taxes. Why not just get it to zero? And, you know, there's so many cultural things here that, that I think, you know, I thought that Germany, and it is a lot like the U.S. as far as very clean. It's, uh, when I say clean, it's more like North Carolina. You go to L.A., it's a mess there. But um, the thing, one thing that just blew my mind uh, is you can't take cash and uh, and put it in someone's account here. I came down here to, to get the... Uh, some medical things done and went to an account that thought I could just give them cash. You can't do that. They don't take cash here for the for uh, another person if you're going to deposit it. And, and something else, too. I went in a store here because when I go back on my flight, I want to get rid of I got tons of chains that came in. And uh, you can't switch that when you get to the airport. So what happens is uh, you have to take it either spin it up or whatever. I got so much of it. But I was in the store already and went ahead and was just going to change it over to um, to get some bills, get euro change for euro bills so I could change those at the airport. They won't even take cash. They call it money laundering. <laughs> yeah, they said they got money laundering laws here now. Well, you can't come in and take change and switch it for bills, even if it's five euros. They can't even take it. Ten euros. They can't take change once you buy something uh, and you want to go back in and you just pay cash for it and you want to switch it for and get some bills for for change. They can't take it. It's I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's a real weird system they've got here. And uh, they don't even like using crypto. Uh, this is a I don't even know if they got any crypto exchanges. I haven't checked, but uh very few places here. In fact, I didn't run into a place that will take crypto here. Um, and this bill that I was going to pay, I'll try to pay that way. And uh, 
they didn't even take crypto. They don't like it. And uh, it's very government oriented, uh, very wokeness. <laughs> so if you, if you like a liberal socialistic society, man, this is your place because you're going to pay out of your ass in taxes and it's, it's woke to the wokeness. So uh, it, it really, if you're looking for a place that you want to keep your income taxes to zero, stick with territorial tax systems and pure tax havens, go with places that are in Central America, places that are in certain South American countries like Ecuador. Uh, there are very few in South America I really like. Uh, somewhat Uruguay, but there's so many better places than Uruguay. I would pick uh, <clears throat> Ecuador over Uruguay. Most of the other ones tax worldwide income if you live there. I see all these people promoting, talking about Chile and places like Argentina. Man, they, you're going to pay high taxes there on your worldwide income. Why do you want to pick places like that? Stick with places that are pure tax savings, that have territorial tax systems. This is what you want to do. Uh, but I see so many people resorting to paying $100,000 lump sums to uh, settle with the, the tax person. Just pick places you can get it to zero. It's that simple. And I, I don't care what your net worth is, e even if it's a billion dollars, why not just get it down to zero? I mean, to me, that's kind of exciting. Look at Warren Buffett. Here's a guy. Now, he doesn't mind. He says paying high taxes. But if you look at... <laughs> How he, he tax structures everything. Uh, everything is given to foundations for his children. And so there's there's no taxes on that. You have an obligation of giving 5% of the foundation every year. But then you only pay, you can pay yourself uh, uh, income, reasonable income. They don't even have it stipulated other than reasonable income. And uh, you pay taxes only on that amount of money. But there's no inheritance for state taxes. And he doesn't pay a dividend out on Berkshire Hathaway. So there actually, there is no taxes on the actual dividends at all because there was no dividends declared there. So, you know, uh, he, he watches every single penny. And that's the way I think everybody should do it. I, I don't know if anybody who, uh, I mean, this guy eats at McDonald's. He drives a, a old used car that got uh, uh, hell, hell beat down on it. And he took that car and he got his special price after the uh, car had been damaged with hell. I mean, this is the way he watches his money. This is where you should be doing it, too. If you got any questions, folks, want to get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as four to, month, four to eight months, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right on your screen. You'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And folks, we don't monetize this station, so if you could hit the thumbs up, it would help get this video out to more people. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.